hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day and because you guys love the cat I showed you yesterday, I just thought I'd show you our other little baby, this beautiful little dinosaur here, we love this one, we give it love and affection, so if you've got any cuddly toys, send me photos, email me, let me know because the part of our family and I love showing them to you so first of all before I start this reading I'm going to use some powerful cards today and the angels are already giving me some powerful messages I just want to give a big shout out to our soul brother Zach who started a YouTube channel called the Divine Masculine and I shared it yesterday on the community page you put a video on about the masculine's perspective in separation so I've shared that go and check that out give him some love he's building his channel up right now and thank you to everyone who commented about the video I did yesterday about how to build your channel there's going to be an extra video dropping for you guys later so if you are thinking of creating a channel or you've already got one that will be the video to watch so let's do this then so we're going to use the masculine messages and the twin flame messages today by mystic moon we're going to bring in the empowering questions to see what the angels want us to know we're going to bring in the reiki inspirational cards because a lot of healing energy coming into this connection we're going to use the angel dreams and we're going to use a deck of tarot so what do we need to know well the first thing that's coming through intuitively today is that dreams are going to become more vivid so the angels are saying to you over the next few days you're going to be dreaming about your twin it's going to be so intense you're going to feel like they're there with you and they are feeling this with you so you're both going to be dreaming about each other and there's no fighting it in dreams you can't hide from your dreams it's written and etched in stone so you're going to be reminded of each other so if you're thinking of walking away from the connection and you start having a vivid dream about your twin, that's your masculine there reminding you of their presence. And they are reminded of you in their dreams because they know they need to make a change. And there's direct shifts going on right now with the energy what's going on in the world in 2020 and everything that's going on to bring twins into alignment between now and 2024. So a lot of change going on. Also, if you're having crazy dreams, it's because you're purging things. You're purging things out and bringing things in. So there's going to be a lot of healing going on in dreams. And that's why I want to bring the angel dreams deck in. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know? So let's start then with a message from the masculines. What do we need to know, please, angels? What do the masculines want to say to the feminine today? Wow, a few cards coming out there. What do the masculines want to say to you today, Divine Feminine? There it is. Okay, two cards. Let's start with these then. We're going to start with Mystic Moon. Your beauty still moves me. What a beautiful message. Your beauty still moves me. So this is showing you how much they're attracted to you. And yesterday, the masculine said to you, I desire you on every level. And now they're saying to you, your beauty moves me. And it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. You have beauty within you. You have beauty on the outside and you have beauty on the inside. And it's the beauty on the inside that the masculines feel. And they see always. It doesn't matter what you're wearing, what your hair's like. If you're having a good day or a bad day, they see your beauty. Because it radiates and shines from within. And if you're a guy and you don't think you're beautiful, then look in the mirror. Because, you know, I say to George a lot, you know, you're so beautiful. Because his inner light shines out. And your light shines out of you like a beacon of light. So this is showing you here your beauty still moves your twin. So your masculine thinks about you. Thinks about you on every level. Desires you on every level. And loves the way you look because that's who you are. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. Why? Because your beauty moves them. There's nobody like you. So it doesn't matter where they are, where they, where they went... You know, where they went and, you know, if they went with someone else or they're in a karmic situation or they left you for another situation like a friendship or a family situation, nothing compares to you, Divine Feminine. Your beauty moves your twin. They desire you on every level. So the same to you here, the grass wasn't greener. I'm so sorry that I ran. The grass was not greener on the other side. And of course it isn't. It's burnt up. 
They're giving me a vision of green grass on one side, like beautiful green cut grass that smells amazing. You know that smell when you cut the lawn, you either love it or you hate it. And then on the other side, yellow grass, like it's been burnt and, you know, it's dying. So you've got dying grass there and then you've got this beautiful green field. And that's what you are, Divine Feminine, this beautiful green field. And they are moving towards you in the fields of eternity. So they're letting you know this today. I want to change my life. So don't think your masculine doesn't want to do anything about their situation. And I know there's changes going on in the world right now. A few of you have messaged me saying your masculine's moved home with their partner. Why is this happening? It's all connected with the shifts and the changes going on in the world. If they're making one move, they're going to move and they make another move. So they're changing their life. They're already starting to make moves. They're just doing it in an indirect way. So your masculine saying to you, I want to change my life. I want to do something about this. I know the grass isn't greener here and I need to be where the green grass is. I was silly to let you go. And they understand this. This is why they're saying this to you. The grass was not greener. So if your masculine left you for anybody else or went back to somebody else or went into a situation after you and it seemed to be quite quickly and it hurt you, don't take it personal. They know what they're doing here. They know they were silly to let you go. They sit there and think about it. They're dreaming of you. They're remembering the beauty of the connection, the beauty of you. They're thinking about you. They're working out how they can change their life and what to do. I was silly to let you go. Wow, don't give up on me. These masculines today are really showing you the truth. Don't give up on me, Divine Feminine. I want to change my life. I was silly to let you go. Your beauty moves me. The grass isn't greener. And it wasn't greener. I know where my heart is. I hope we can start again. So another sign here, they want to wipe the slate clean. And this is why if your masculine comes back to you, take it one step at a time. Don't force it. Don't make it into anything it's not ready to be. Just enjoy each beautiful moment. And don't dredge up the past. Don't go over things that will make them run again. Because they're saying to you, I'm sorry. You know, I was silly to let you go. The grass was not greener. I'm understanding it all now. And I hope we can start again. And starting again means you wipe the slate clean. Because you've already done the work, Divine Feminine, in separation. You've healed it. You've forgiven. You've released the blame and the pain. And you're looking forward, not back, with faith and power. Because your masculine is understanding that they were born to be with you. And they are understanding this now on a very deep level. So beautiful. So out of all of these, obviously I was silly to let you go. But the most important one, I want to change my life. So powerful, amazing. Okay, let's see what we need to know then today. Thank you, angels. What questions do we need to know about for the feminines, for the divine masculines? Wow, jumped out there. And for the journey, what do we need to know? Thank you. What do we need to know, please, angels, for the feminines on the floor, for the masculines, and for this amazing journey? Thank you. Let me just grab this, because every day I'm shuffling. Someone asked me what the next line is of the song, and I have absolutely no idea. What do we need to know for the feminines, please, angels? Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's very dark in the UK today, a lot of rain around, a lot of cleansing energy again. And what do we need to know for the journey? Wow. And the angel dreams, what do we need to know for the feminines, please? Thank you, thank you, thank you. What do we need to know for the masculines today? Amazing. And for this amazing journey, wow. Okay, let's do this then. So, I want to change my life and the angels are saying to me right now, that's not the most important card list, thank you. This is the most important card. I hope we can start again. See how the angels guide me there? There you go. I hope we can start again, Divine Feminine. So powerful. So today, let's start with the journey then. So we've got, it's come out again there. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. And I just picked that up there. So that's what you need to know today. So we've got then, we've got awareness. Wow, look at this. Awareness and clarity coming in for the journey here. Awareness and clarity. So we're really understanding what this journey is. You know, gaining clarity about it. 
understanding the truth. Maybe you've been guided to this video right now and it's helping you to understand why things happen. And if you've still got questions, go to the playlist section, have a look around. In the Twin Flames archive, there's plenty of videos there that will help you to understand why they do the things they do, why you go through the stages of separation, why you go through everything you go through because you come out the other side. It's so beautiful. And if you want to know how your twin is feeling about you, there's pick a piles that every video on is timeless, no matter when you find it. It helps you to come into awareness and clarity. So a lot of this going on today. And the masculines are understanding that they were silly to let you go, that the grass was not greener and they are seeking out those beautiful green fields. We've got the page of pentacles, spiritual growth healing so you both grow up on this journey and especially the divine masculine because that's what they showed me there they become stronger and look at the card there even though he's a young boy in that card he's got experience you can see there he's wearing a suit so this is showing you the way the masculines mature on this journey and we've got the knight of pentacles look at his face they're giving me fear so there's some fear there connected with what they are learning and understanding because it's all brand new to the masculines. They're waking up, they're coming into awareness and gaining clarity. And they're a bit scared and a bit fearful about it. And this is showing you it's all falling into place. And you're the divine feminine there, queen of pentacles, strong, ready. And you've got them, they show me that it's a ball of string there. But they show me that like a melon. Okay, it possibly is a melon there. But they show me a ball of string, let it unravel the way it's meant to. And the melon there, let things go. Okay, this giving me dirty dancing with baby. Baby carries the watermelons and meets Johnny. And nobody puts baby in the corner. So this is about awareness and putting down baggage. Putting down responsibility and letting it just be. Especially why the towers come in. Chaos, upheaval. It's about everything changing. Shifts, things going around in the world. Because everything right now is under divine timing. We've got the stairs there. So if you're dreaming about stairs or staircases, this is because you know you're shifting and changing your life. You're finding your way. You're moving direction. Direction and timing there. So you're moving towards another way of being. You're finding your way. You're being shown the answers. You're moving to another level of awareness and clarity. And we've got the summer here. Taking action, fruition and intellect. Now, it doesn't matter what stage of cycle of season you're in. So it could be winter where you are. Springtime, it's coming into autumn here. Or it could be summer. But this is showing you summer is about the things regenerating. It's about the journey moving forward between now and the summertime, huge shifts and changes. I feel some of you are going to holiday in the summer with your twin. This is what they're telling me intuitively right now. This is about the masculines moving into action, fruition and intellect. So it's about understanding, clarity, water energy flowing in, purification, cleansing, Remember, we've got water everywhere. It's raining here today. There's flood energy going on. There's all these storms. And we've got premonition there. And we've got the birds. And this is prophecy. And some of you watching will be prophets or prophetesses. You know, you'll be gaining clarity and wisdom. You'll be having prem like premonitions in your dreams. You'll be dreaming about the future. You may be understanding what's coming in the world. So you're having visions, clear audience, opening up clairvoyance. The same both ears and sight. So you're opening up because you're paying attention. You're becoming aware with your physical ears. And this is why there's a lot of E-rate going on right now while things are being cleansed out. And we've got this third eye opening up here, the pineal gland. It's about opening up to your spiritual sight. So clairvoyance and clairaudience, powerful. Also the fact that you, you've seen things, visions in your mind, which is obviously claircognizance as well. So the angels are saying to you, things are popping into your mind. You're understanding the truth. You've got a premonition of the future. And we've also got spring here. Awakening projects and renewals. So the spring energy is about bloomingness, about things blooming, falling into place. And this is about the projects moving forward. 
So this is also about work issues, things you're working on, but it's also about this divine journey because it's being renewed, it's springing forward. So spring and summer energy here showing you it's moving into bloom. And we've got yellow, flexibility, adaptability and personal power. Step into your power. So both feminine and masculine aligning to step into power, to adapt to situations, to be flexible with things. And the message here is, what is my instinct telling me to do? So this is about action here. So this is the question for both of you today. What is your instinct telling you to do? The first thing that pops in your head. So it could be about your twin flame journey. It could be about you that you need to look after you. Or it could be about a business you're creating or a YouTube channel. What is your instinct telling you to do? What kind of advice on life would my old self give to my current self? So think about it. How far you've come and what you've learned. But I think that's the other way around. What would your current self say to your old self? Stop stressing. Don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. You're going to be guided, directed. You are safe and loved. So ask yourself the questions today. Who are you now? What have you learnt on this journey? How powerful are you? Because you're coming into awareness of who you are. What's your instinct telling you to do? And the masculines are being shown intuitively to change their life, to do something about it, to start again with you because your beauty moves them. And they know the grass was not greener on the other side. So beautiful. So masculines then, let's have a look here while we've got school and lessons. We're all in the school of life. So remember your masculine is learning and growing right now in the school of life, learning the lessons they need to learn. And sometimes that's in dark places around darkness and dark people because you're the light divine feminine. And someone said to me yesterday, why Liz do you say that the feminine's the, the sun and the masculine's the moon when everywhere it says the other way around? I channel angels, not cards. And you have to have an open mind when you're connecting with energy. The angels clearly say to me, the sun is the feminine because it's the warmth. Okay? doesn't matter about polarity and all these things. The feminines are the sun because they are the warmth. Imagine what it's like when you're sitting outside and the sun's warming you and it feels beautiful and nice and you feel all safe. And then the sun goes behind a cloud and you feel cold. That's how the masculines feel when the warmth of the sun disappears. And that's the divine feminine. And the moon is the way the masculine reflects on their life and goes through illusion and fear and goes into doubt and negativity and has to move out of all of that energy to see the sun. So take what resonates with you. This journey is a learning curve and we're all in the school of life. And we have to have an open mind to all things and see things from a different perspective. We've got the fire here. Transmutation, purification. So powerful. And I spoke about this the other day. About the fires going on right now. They're out of control. And it's because of the, the heat and the fire within that's out of control. The masculines have all this, this fire and this power inside of them. They're, just, they're giving me like the word piet. Like a, a pyre, things changing. And the same like a funeral pyre. So that's where you burn the, the past. So they're burning the past right now to start again in the future. To bring in a new beginning. To bring in power. So all of this fire energy is about the passion, the purpose, the power. And the sexual energy and chemistry between the two of you. We've got, wow, the two of cups. So the masculines feel the love. There's the divine connection. That's you and your twin together, united in love. Friends, united in love. Telepathic communication. This is about you dreaming of each other and tapping in. This is the promise of what's to come. And wow, we've got the Hierophant because it's a spiritual love. It's a divine love, a twin flame love. So it's all part of the spiritual journey. So the masculines right now are learning their lessons in the school of life because it's part of their spiritual growth. So powerful. And this is why you're together. And we've got serenity there. You give your masculine peace. And this is what they're saying to me. Because when they align with you, they align in the fields of eternity. 
And when I say lying, I mean lying down, not lying to you. They know what they've done. They know they've hurt you, lied to you, and they were silly to let you go. And now they're saying to you, I'm dreaming about you because I'm lying with you. So they're sleeping next to you in their dreams. What would happen if I didn't try to control my future? So the masculines are asking themselves this question today. What would happen if I didn't try to control my future? If I just let go and allowed it to happen and let the tower crash everything around me, what would happen? They would change their life. They would be with you. They would move where their heart is because you move them in more ways than you know. Your beauty moves them. You move them towards their purpose and who they are. So they working this out today. What would happen if I didn't try to control my life? so powerful and think about that yourself divine feminine what would happen if you didn't control this journey let it go that's why we go into separation because we learn to let go of the control of the journey because we can't control it it's an unconditional love look at this we've got the mirror for the feminines here so powerful truth revealed so the truth has been revealed right now when you're looking in the mirror. You're understanding who you are. So you're understanding that you're reflecting things back to you for healing. So if your masculine is triggering you, if their karmic person is triggering you, their situation, the amount of time it's taking, ask yourself the question, what am I learning right now? How is this healing me? What am I learning about me? What do I need to heal within me? Because it's something within you that needs healing. We've got the high council around you here. Evolution, information and potential. So when you're dreaming, you're dreaming about your guides. You've been shown the way. So we've got mirrors there. So if you have any dreams about mirrors, it's because of a mirror image. Things are being healed. You're facing the truth. Secrets are being revealed to you. Your higher self has been shown to you by the higher power. You're surrounded by angels. And we've got selenite here, spiritual activation and stimulation. So things are changing. There's a spiritual activation. Things are being stimulated. Things are moving and shifting. A lot of change coming in. And they show me this a lot like my crystal ball. Now I'll show this to you. I've got it here on this beautiful cat. They show me that like that there. So remember, this crystal ball is connected with premonition. It's connected with prophecy and it's connected with the future, the future that's coming in for you. And remember, you set your future by the thoughts you think. So put all of your intentions today into this ball of energy and send it out into the universe. We've also got red there for passion and survival. And I spoke about this yesterday. I wore red. A lot of you are wearing red and it's about the passion, the fire that this is a game of survival. So you're surviving every day. Remember how powerful you are. Get up every day and shine. You're surviving, but you're thriving. You're ready for what's to come. You're fighting for what's yours. And it's showing you you're moving towards power. And we've got the world here. You've got the world in your hands, divine feminine. So beautiful. What are you creating in your world right now? Think about that. We've also got the fool showing you a new beginning is coming in here. New beginnings, fresh start. I want to start again. I hope we can start again. I want to change my life for you. So this is the new beginning that's coming in. And the angels are bringing it to you. They show me the bird there. So you may even be seeing doves here. But this is also about clarity coming in and seeing the bigger picture. Rising above fear. And wow, the four of wands, that's you two coming into union, coming together, building a foundation. We've got waiting and we've got honesty. So we've got honesty here. And this is about being very honest about how you feel, about the journey, about the questions you're asking. And the question is, what kind of met metaphors can I find to describe my feelings? And what kind of feelings am I feeling right now? And remember, this is a feeling journey, divine feminine. So the angels are saying, be very honest with yourself right now about the way that you're feeling about the things going on inside of you. Because when you find the answers, you understand why you're waiting, why you're being patient. Because waiting isn't about sitting there looking at your watch. It's about working on self. Don't wait, work. When you work, you work on you. You find yourself. You're very honest with your feelings. Why is this hurting me right now? Why am I being triggered by this? Why is this upsetting me? 
What is this telling me about me? Because that's the core wound within you that's being healed right now. And I know it's very deep and intense, but it's very honest. And the angels say you have to be very honest on this journey. And the masculines learn honesty because they hide behind a sea of lies. So they have to speak the truth. And the feminines have to go within and find the truth. And the truth is knowingness. The truth is understanding who you are, why you were born, what you're here for, your purpose to heal humanity, to work on your mission. And when you guys say to me, what's my purpose, what's my mission, it's being revealed to you now. Because you're learning what you need to learn to move towards your purpose. And your purpose is being here right now, watching this video, understanding how you feel. Because you're healing everything within you so you can start again. So don't just think you're waiting around for a person. You're becoming the best and greatest version of who you are. You're evolving and transforming. You're growing and healing. You signed up for this, so bless it now. Remember who you are. Remember your power and stand in your truth. So we're going to pull some cards. We're going to do a Divine Masculine Confession. I'm going to split the deck. I just prefer shuffling them. Sometimes I wonder if this is all in my head, but deep down I know it's not. And this is your masculine saying this to you. But I feel sometimes you go through this too, Divine Feminine. Is it all in my head? Am I imagining this right now? I'm trying to overcome my vices and blocks to give you all you truly deserve. So the masculines want to give you what you deserve. And that's not breadcrumbs. That's not lies. That's the truth. That's why they want to wipe the slate clean and start again. The fact you even give me the time of day blows my mind. So your masculine saying to you, you blow my mind. The fact that you even give me time. The, the fact that you even give it. Mm, okay, that's what they're saying. This is why I have so many fantasies to play out with you. When can we begin? And what are they saying to you today? I hope we can start again. So your masculine is saying to you, I have so many fantasies, so many dreams, so many things that go round and round in my mind about you. And I want you. And this is what they're showing you today. So let's do the Divine Feminine Confessions. Big shout out to Bridget Rowe for these amazing decks, by the way. Feminines, what do you want to say to your masculine? I only want to please you. So you're saying to your masculine, I only want to please you. And that means, it doesn't mean in a desperate way. That you only want to give to them and please them and make sure they're okay. That doesn't mean you are weak. That means you just want to make them happy. Pleasing them is making them happy. And you know you can make your twin flame happier than they've ever been. I thought things were going good. Why did you disappear? So some of you will still be thinking about that. Why did they disappear? Why did they block me, ghost me, ignore me? Why, when it was going so good, did they walk away? Why have they gone back to that person? Why are they doing that thing? And these are all questions that will be answered to you in the Twin Flame archive. Go and watch the video. If the masculines are ignoring you, blocking you, ghosting you, disappearing on you... It's because they're doing two things. They're processing their feelings for you and it's deep and intense, it's powerful. Or they're working out how to change their life because that's what they need to do and how they feel about you and how their life is affected by you. So you have to give them space and time. You have to trust, you have to see things from a different perspective and understand that you're both growing in this school of life. You're both ascending the staircase. You're both moving forward into the light and you're both transforming like the phoenix from the flame. So you will feel a lot different than you did yesterday. But when you be very honest with yourself about your feelings, why are you feeling hurt? Why are you angry? Why you can't forgive? Why you can't let go? Go within and look at yourself. Because you'll realise you're just healing abandonment and pain and fear of being left alone. And you're never alone because you're surrounded by an army of angels. And you have Archangel Michael right by your side. So remember that today. Stand your ground. Know that you are loved and safe and protected. And most importantly, that all is well. Have a great day. Sending you so much love. And I'll see you soon.